Hi everyone, it's Shelley Johns here from Gimpy and um, I'm a Get Team member and I've been in Herb Life now for 27 years and tonight's call is going to be all about role plays and packaging your results because obviously um, these are really important skills that you need to learn for your business and we've got some fantastic people that are going to help us tonight. We've got Jennifer, how long have you been in the company for? Uh, be 34 years at the end of the year. Yep, so um, amazing experience. Jan, what about you? Um, 31, I think. 31, and Mervyn? 15. 15, so, and I'm 27. So just think of all the experience to do with the products and talking to people uh, combined that are going to help you. Um, you know, we're going to share some skills and some tips on how to talk to people. So um, I think the first one is that obviously once you start getting a product result, that um, you want to be able to tell your story in the most powerful way using all the facts. So this is really important so that when you're, you're somewhere where you have to tell it quickly, you, you can tell it in 30 seconds, but if you're sitting down and being able to, you know, do a wellness evaluation, you can actually do a more elaborate type of, of story. So um, that's, um, Jan, I might just start off with you. So mm -hmm. tell me that obviously you were Jennifer's client first. Yes. So um, did Jennifer help you package your story? So, so how did you go about that? Like how did that happen and, and what, how do you tell your product story? Well, in those days, we didn't sort of have a training. <laughs> we didn't have all those, <laughs> those skills. We just did our thing. <laughs> we developed them over the years. But, um, yeah, you, you do learn um, as, as you go through because there are different um, lengths of stories that you can tell. Like uh, you said, um, uh, Shelley, for an STS, it's got to be uh, short, sharp and to the point, but with passion, yep. which I think is very important. Then, um, you know, if you're in a, in a lift or something like that, it's got to be short and sharp as well, um, even less than the STS probably, but just enough to give the interest to, to the person. And, of course, when you're with somebody, you can go in more depth, although you don't want to go too long because they switch off. Because I have found that in the beginning as well. You can sort of uh, tell your story far too long. So it's a matter of just putting the most essential things into, into your story. Um, for you. And if it's a weight loss, usually end in your weight loss uh, or your centimetre loss. That's usually the last words that should um, sort of you, you should say, really, because it's more impactful. People will remember those. Yep. So do you want to just give an example of how you would share your... Oh, okay. Um, uh, I, um, for a short, sharp one, I started on the products and I uh, had excellent energy and vitality. Uh, I found my skin cleared up with the nutrition and within a matter of uh, weeks, I found that um, I began to lose some centimetres and then I lost, oh God, I'm tongue tied, <laughs> uh, lost seven kilos in true dress sizes and keep the weight under control and it feel fantastic. And so that's a really great short story and it's probably a very relatable weight loss amount. Most people want to lose, lose that kind of amount really, don't they? Yep. Cool. So, um, okay, Jennifer, thank you, Jan. Jennifer, what, how would you um, share your product results? Okay. Um, I started on the products and uh, I didn't have a lot of weight to lose. I lost an inch and a half of my hips on the fourth day on the products. That really showed me the products worked. I lost just under five kilos. Okay. And I think that had no passion in it. And it's interesting that sometimes when you do talk, um, you know, from the stage or whatever, you know, the where you are, you know, you you do put more passion into it. Sometimes it is relevant to say a few more words about, you know, what's going on for you. So I find the subject a difficult one at times when you're teaching it to people because sometimes you find people just get, um, say a few words and it's really boring. It's teaching them how to, to get that passion into it and without dragging it out. I think probably one of your, your strengths, Jennifer, is like, you know, you, especially when you are presenting or on stage, you always look amazing. You're always wearing these amazing outfits and um, you've been using the products now for what, over 30 years. So and you've still been able to maintain that amazing figure in, in all that time. So I think that's a real powerful story, even like for a, a long-term story of how long you can use Herbalife for and still, um, you know, maintain um, a great figure. And for me, I think um, it is uh, interesting uh, that you should 
say the things that are relevant to your story for me you know sometimes i'll say on the stage because i'm only five feet tall and i do come from a short fat family with big bottoms and legs so to an inch at least an inch and a half of the hips for me on the fourth day i mean that was you know i just knew it worked it was really great excellent results so you know, sometimes I think it's relevant to say, you know, I come from a short fat family, you know, because people then can relate and say, I, I know how you feel. You know. And um, yeah, it's a good point because I know, Jan, you've talked a lot about how um, your family that the, the were overweight and that that's really relatable too, isn't it? Yes, um, obviously, um, a slightly longer story is, is I come from a very obese family, very unhealthy. My mother died at 64. Uh, with so many health issues and her, her sister and all the three brothers were all very, very much overweight, like 140 kilos. So I didn't want to be like that. And yep. that's why I started using Health Life. And these days I do say my age because I think it is relevant for a lot of people uh, because healthy ageing is very, very important this day and age because I'm 77 and I'm healthy. Yep. Absolutely. And um, I think, you know, people are living longer but not necessarily mm. better. So your, your stories are really powerful. And... Uh, and that leads on to Mervyn's uh, amazing um, story as well. So Mervyn, do you want to share your story? And then I might just get Jennifer or Jan to see if they can tweak it for you a little bit and make it more powerful as well. So did, should I share your story how you normally do? Um, I found Herbalife looking for a new business. At that time, I was told by the doctor I was overweight. So I jumped on the products. After 12 weeks, I returned to the doctor and he said, oh, you've lost 12 kilos. That's good. He took my blood pressure and said, oh, that's good as well. And then I went on. After 18 weeks, I had lost 18 kilos and four centimetres off my waist. Fantastic. And I think it's an advantage to use your age. Would you say that, Jennifer and Jam? Yes. 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 And I think I'd go directly more to the point, you know, that um, you use the product in 18... 18, 18 week, weeks, you had lost X amount of weight, you know, and, you know, my health is great and my age is so-and-so. Hmm. Yeah, okay, Jan, Jan, Jennifer. Starts on 18 next Sunday. So, oh, fantastic. <laughs> and it is important because, Absolutely. you know, there's so many people out there, you know, just continually telling you about all the pills and aches and pains. Mm -hmm. I'm with the only specialist that can do this and that for me. I've got a few relatives like that. And, um, you know, it, it's just frustrating. Yes, people get sick and stuff happens. But a lot of it is what we do create for ourselves. And, and uh, so creating the idea of talking about how good you feel and how great you are at your age, I think it's very important. People need to hear that positivity. Absolutely, because it helps validate how good the products are. And, and a lot of new people need to sort of feel that security. And just one other little thing, I started on the products, not jumped on them. It's a pet, pet thing of mine. <laughs> uh, it's what all, all the young people and everyone's saying it at the STS, so I guess you pick up that, you know, the jargon, don't you? Uh, but I have to admit, I, I hate the term myself, you know, and it's got to sound so ronio That's the problem when sometimes people say, you know, make it sharp, and everyone gets up like a robot saying, dunk, 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 yeah. you know. So, um, and so everyone says now, I jumped on the products, you know, and I smashed them, you know. <laughs> yeah. But, <laughs> the other thing is I take no medication whatsoever. Well, that, that I'd put yeah, that in. That's fantastic. At 80, that's phenomenal. And I think then this story is, you know, I, I, I started to use the products. You know, I was on them for 17 weeks. I lost so much weight. I miss age and I take no doctor's medication. Yeah, and that's a pretty good story. It is. Yep. Fantastic. Yeah, very powerful. Is it all in a nutshell, you know? Mm. Yeah, thank you. That, I thought you'd have some great tips. So does that sound more powerful to use it that way, Mervyn? It sounds a lot more powerful. Yeah. So thank you. Um, so I know Jess is listening in, Jess Thompson. I'm just wondering, Jess, did you want help packaging your story? Like um, if you, you're more than welcome to stay muted, that's fine. But if you maybe wanted to unmute and, 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 and we could help you package your story, would you like us to do that? No, that's okay. <laughs> so next time they would love love to bring you up and do that because uh, I know it can be quite daunting, but it's a really uh, great 
a great way to learn and gain confidence as well. I remember the first time I tried to tell my story at a little HOM in Adelaide, the office with Merv and Andrew Foote and Mike Proctor and I got up and uh, I could, my knees went all to jelly and I could hardly even speak. I think a little squeak came out. <laughs> and, um, so it's quite interesting. So, and, and sometimes what happens too when you've used the products for a while, so obviously in 27 years I've I lost weight, like I lost 16 kilos in 17 weeks. And then I had two babies and in the second, like the second baby, like with Caitlin, I actually put on a fair bit of weight and then I had to lose it again. So I've kind of got this brand new result. So the great thing about Herbalife is you can always have a brand new story. So you could do a brand new five kg story, five week story or something like that. So yeah, just, um, just let us know if you do want us to do your story. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to work out how to talk. <laughs> so have you got your cam? Can you put your camera on? Um, there you go. So there you go. So where are you? Sorry, from? I'm first time using this. Hi. <laughs> Welcome. Um, so where are you from? Um, from Kanamala. Oh, cool. Is that um, you're with Lydia and Marcel? Yeah. Yes. Oh, awesome. So so tell tell us a bit about your story, we'll see if we can help you package it better. Um, so I started it in. Herbalife in February. Um, I'm currently a mother of two under two. I'm breastfeeding and I just basically wanted something that was quick and easy when you don't have time to cook, basically. Um, I was sort of wanting to lose about 10 kilos, but not in any hurry um, considering I'm breastfeeding. Uh, anyway, since February, I've lost, um, I think, about 15 centimetres and uh, about eight kilos wow. and yeah I just want to sort of try and help especially those busy mums really because it's just so easy um, to use and yeah um, since using it I've got a lot more energy I didn't have the tea and the aloe the other day and I felt absolutely drained <laughs> um, so but yeah I, I that's sort of telling you guys I haven't really sat down and worked out exactly what I'd say to people to try and get them to use it. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd appreciate any, any tips would be great. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, great result. So yes, it could be just packaged. Have you lost a dress size then around about a dress size? I have. Yes. Yes. So sort of 14 to 16 and now I'm a 12. Awesome. Um, what I would have said, Shelley, too, is something like, you know, I'm a mum of two and I'm breastfeeding. I wanted to get onto something that was quick because of all the work I have with my kids. And, uh, and I've, sorry, I've, I've forgotten in what you lost. And I've been on the front since February and I've lost so much weight, no, or I've lost so many dress sizes. Yeah. On top of that, I feel great. My energy's great. And I know when I don't drink my tea or, you know, that's adding to a little yeah. bit. Depends on if you've got a lot of time with people, you say more. If you're at a meeting, you know, you would try to limit it. So it's interesting um, without, you know, what we often say, people will say, well, Jenny got me on the products and then we went down to the office and then we went on a Thursday morning and then, you know, she got me to taste some drink and la, 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 you know. So we're trying to package it in a way when there's 40 people on a stage that they say the thing. So you'd say, you know, you know your name and then I'm Jess, you know, I'm a mother of two and I'm breastfeeding. I wanted to get on something that was fast for me and I've had excellent results. I've been on the products and so and so. I've lost so much weight and, you know, I absolutely love the tea. It just gives me energy. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Thanks, Jenny. Fantastic. Jan, any other tips? Uh, no, that, that's good. Cool. So, so this is how we'd say it. So, hi, my name's Jess from Kanamala. I've started on the program in February. I'm a mum of two under two, um, breast, and I was, I'm still breastfeeding. I was looking for something quick and easy, um, but been able to lose since then eight kilos, 15 centimeters. I went from a size 14 to 16 down to, and down to a size 12, and I have heaps more energy, and I'm looking forward to helping other mums do the same. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Great. Excellent. Thank so you. basically when someone's sharing the result, what I do is I write it down. So I was writing notes, right? Oh, is it there? Sorry. <laughs> Where's the camera? Um, so I write, I just write like crazy and I bullet point all the important things and then that way you can package it. And of course, you can when you're sitting down with some of the mums, you might go and have a coffee or something or a play group or something 
and then you can elaborate more as the questions yeah. come up. But if it's in this short time, like you're at a, an HOM or STS or somewhere where you're in line and you don't have a lot of time, that's a very quick and easy story. So I think what I'll do is I'll do a post on Challenge Yourself Daily and get everyone to share their stories and results as well. I think that might be a really good one to put on there. So just remember that, well, I'll do a disclaimer now just because we are recording this, that of course we don't claim to cure anything, that you always use the products as directed, take them as recommended, um, and we don't claim to cure anything. It's just good balanced nutrition in, you know, uh, every single day and your body will move towards wellness when you give it what it needs so i'm just doing a disclaimer and make sure when you share any results that you put individual results may vary results not typical yes we're showing what's possible but just to make sure that we always do that and it has to be at least size 10 font okay so just remember those things if you are putting it on facebook or doing a before and after um or printing out flyers and things that you've got those um, disclaimers on there so that you're always to, um, you know, going with Herbalife's guidelines. Okay, so that was heaps of fun. Did you all enjoy that? Yeah. <laughs> cool. So obviously that's, that's the product one and then there's also an income one as well. And, and the income, packaging your income is also um, exactly the same way. It's drawing out um, the facts and using it in the most powerful way. Um, so, you know, you want to use your background. Um, you know, it might not necessarily... Um, how long you've been in the company might work for you or it might not. So you can use it if you feel it's helping your story. And um, and sometimes it might just be what, what I made yesterday, what I made last week, what I made last month or in the last 90 days or last year. So obviously Jan and Jennifer's stories are really powerful. They could do a yearly income, which was just quite powerful. But then Jennifer might go, well, People might not believe my income, it might not be relatable. So maybe I could do um, last week, just helping a couple of clients, I was able to earn $250 part time or, you know, just around what I was doing. And that's, you know, a lot of people just want that, that that's powerful for them. So sometimes, like you said, if you've got to relate, if you say to someone last year, I earned a million dollars or $2 million, they may not believe that um, or would be able to relate to it. But if we, uh, but then if you, you can always say, look, you know, I earn an, uh, an amazing, residual income with the company but let me tell you about um, Jess she helped her two mums last week with results and she was able to earn a couple hundred dollars part-time around her two little kids so you can always tell a, a story that's going to relate to someone okay so um, Mervyn did you need um, help packaging your income story no I'm fine on that Shelley Cool. So, um, so Jen, tell me, because you've been in the business for a while now, how would you pack it? Because I've heard you at the STS and, um, you know, and obviously you say in retirement now, you, you really don't have to worry about money. Not that you're retired because you kind of don't really retire in her life, do we? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> We're too passionate about helping people. So how would you share a story if you say if you're sitting down talking to a mum as opposed to someone that was really a business builder? What two types of stories would you share? Yeah. Um, if I was sitting down with somebody that was just looking for some part-time extra income, yep. um, I'd just share my, my background. My background was packing shelves in a supermarket and I'd done that for five years and I had a couple of serious falls down some stairs, did my back in. So I was really looking for something else. And thank goodness Herbalife walked into my life via the products, had fabulous results. I uh, didn't really intend to do the business, but... Um, I really like helping people and a lot of people were asking why I was looking so healthy and I'd lost some weight so I, I shared my story with them and that's really how I got started in, in the, on the business side because helping people and my sponsor Jennifer she helped me learn how to look after people and um, you know sort of do good follow-up and that's sort of how I got started and, and gradually part-time working around my supermarket hours uh, which was five days a week um, I began earning a couple of hundred dollars a week, then it went to $600 a week. And that was really, really exciting way back then. And that gave me the, the ink, um, uh, sort of the courage to sort of leave the supermarket quite apprehensively. So it's been an incredible journey. Right. So then if you were speaking to someone that well, was really looking for that, you know, they're a business builder, they want to earn residual income or a career level income, how would, what would you say then? How would you package your income? Well, well, more or less the same. My background was packing shelves in a supermarket, um, uh, looking for something else. Um, found Herbalife through the products, had excellent results. That gave me the confidence uh, to be able to 
do the business part-time, um, then sort of got it up to $600 a week part-time, left the supermarket and took total advantage of what the, the Herbalife company has to offer as regards support system. We've got an incredible uh, training programs, attend the workshops. You learn every time you go to a workshop and you learn how to build a team and help that team grow. And of course, that will then... Um, help you learn how to build royalties. And that was something that really excited me, how to build a, a royalty income for the future because I really wanted to have something that I could sort of leave to the children, my, my children. Um, and Herbalife has been, uh, allowed me to do that. We've had great um, support. We've had great holidays that Herbalife have paid for. So the journey has been quite incredible. So these days um, in STEMI retirement, I still do retail and still look after my customers, but I do earn a royalty and a bonus from the company. Okay, cool. Thank you, Jane. And Jennifer, what would you, um, how would you package your story? Okay, well, I think my story is basically the same for anyone, whether they were, you know, an executive or, you know, who's ever standing in front of me. But I just tell it the way it was, and I say that Gary and I were looking, you know, for something to do. And, uh, you know, we found an ad in the paper. Gary went down, you know, to, to see what it was all about. And uh, he, at the end of the day, he came home and he said to me, it's this health and nutrition stuff, and you use it. So I like to tell people a more casual way, if I have the time, you know, to say to them, look, you know, ours was, um, you know, just a normal way of people, you know, you start looking for something, you find it. So, um, and, uh, you know, we had, you know, uh, no, no skills. Uh, Gary worked behind a bar for 10 years as a bar manager. I was doing house cleaning clerical work, but we went to everything that we could to learn all the local meetings. At the end of the year, we made over $100,000. And had Gary stayed behind the bar that year in 1985 to 86, he would have made about twenty-five to $26,000. And I think that really works for everybody because you're basically telling the ordinary background you came from and that you didn't have any bar skills, but you know you found an opportunity and it worked for you. And even in to, to today, um, most people would be very happy with $100,000 for the year. Yes. Mm. So I, I think that shows what's possible again. You know, we're not showing what's typical, but what's possible. And obviously it's, it all um, is to do with people's individual um, you know, efforts and their attitude and the way that they apply, apply themselves, So, which is great. So, um, okay. And so what we're going to do, so that's basically a little bit on the income. So do you definitely want to mention your background? Um, that if you're doing it part-time, because Jim Rowan always said the power of the part-time story, and then, um, you know, and then obviously you want to progress to being able to do her by full-time if that's what you want to do. Some people do love their jobs and they don't want to leave their job, that's fine too, uh, or they've got other commitments. So um, there's, you know, different ways of being able to package your story in a way that's going to relate to people. So I think that was some fantastic examples. So thank you, um, Jan and Jennifer, for sharing. Um, so let's go now to... You might be sitting down and talking to someone, um, like you're at an airport, sitting next to someone on a plane is a really good one because they can't go anywhere, of course. Um, maybe you're at the supermarket or you've just got that little bit of time where you can form someone. So, Jen, did you want to form Jennifer? And just, just as an example of how, how that works. I, I kind of really enjoy the whole form thing because I think it's such a great way to break the ice with people and then learn, learn a bit more about them. Oh, hi. Um, look, my name's uh, Jen. Uh, what's your name? Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Um, uh, you're on the, on the flight. Are you travelling down to Sydney? Uh, yes, I'm just going to see some relatives for the day, just a short trip, and I'll probably come back later tonight. Oh, okay. So up and down in one day. It's pretty hectic, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so you've got family down in um, Sydney? Yeah, you know, most of our family are in Sydney and uh, so just taking this opportunity, you know, holiday day to go down there today and see some right. people. Have they got family um, sort of up in Queensland as well? Oh, yeah, actually, well, you know, I think all the relatives are spread out a bit, you know, right. and all the rest of it. Yeah, so do you get to see your family very, very often? Oh, yeah, people come and visit, sure. Oh, oh, that's good. Um, uh, what's uh, what sort of work do you do? You, you working or you retired or? I've been doing some house cleaning. But basically, my background's clerical work, but you know, uh, with kids and stuff around, you know, um, or the grandkids around. Yeah, you know, I do a bit of house cleaning. Gives me some extra money. Right. Yeah, gets a bit tiring. I would imagine. Oh yeah, absolutely. 
<laughs> when, when you're working and, and got a family to look after as well. Um, do you have any sort of um, uh, sports that you like to do, any sort of recreation or any um, other things that you like to do on your part of sort of days off? Yeah, well, you know, I really haven't had a lot of time to do sport and stuff like that. I read a lot, I do a bit of art, you know. Oh, okay. So you like painting? Yeah, I like painting. Uh, what sort of art do you like? Um, well, I'm good at watercolours and pastels. <laughs> oh, that'd be lovely. Do you get much time to do that? Uh, no, not these days, but I used to do a bit in the past. Okay. Um, all right, look. It, would you be sort of interested in um, earning any extra income? Uh, yeah, sure. I would like. Okay. Yeah, um, look, I'm with a health and nutrition company. We're always looking for people that um, like helping people. And by the sound of it, you know, with, with family and everything, obviously you're running around looking after family, like helping people. Um, so would you be interested in um, hearing a little bit about our company and getting the facts? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, when are you going to be back in on the Gold Coast? Uh, probably very late tonight. Okay. Well, perhaps if I take your, your name and number and I'll give you mine as well, and perhaps we can organise a time where we can perhaps get together and I can sort of explain a little bit about our company and what we do. Okay. All right. That sounds fine. Good. Great. Okay. My name's Jan and this is my phone number and I'll take yours. Okay. So that, that's a pretty excellent way. Obviously, you'd probably stretch it out a little bit more yeah. you know, on the plane flight. But it's great because you related some things to Jennifer and drew out some extra things. And, of course, you know, if you're on the plane and sitting next to something, you can't really be writing down everything they say. So you're going to have to take a mental note of it. Um, but if I'm on the phone or something and that's happening or where I can, I can write it down, then I obviously can relate back to it. But just to remember and then to elaborate on that and, and be genuinely interested in them too. Obviously, obviously not. You know, you, if it looks like you're being fake, then people are going to pick that up. So you want to be genuinely interested in them. Yes, abso absolutely. That's why you always use their name, but not too often yeah. as well. And always, you know, we're, we're in business, so always be prepared. Always have a little notebook and pen in your handbag. Um, or your business card or a flyer, whatever it is with your name and phone number. Yeah. And I've, I've always liked to give somebody my details before I've asked for their details. Uh, it's just something I, I've always been more comfortable with. Yeah, so I'm just having a look on here. I, so we've been going to the same uh, service station now for the last few weeks getting petrol. So um, where Ross fills up with petrol and we go in and pay for the petrol and this um, uh, lady, I always give out the free body scan voucher and uh, I think I also did a, a recruiting one as well. And this girl, Tyson, kept asking, but of course, what did I do? I didn't get her phone number. I <laughs> gave her a flyer. She got to get destroyed in her pocket when she washed it. I went back and she goes, oh, I've well, been meaning to call you, but got destroyed. And then, of course, I uh, went in there fourth time and I just looked at Ross. I said, I'm, I'm going in to get her phone number. <laughs> I said, I've got to do it. And I, you know, I should know better. Like, she shouldn't take me four times. But anyway, um, so I went in. Yes, and I've got her name and phone number to call her this week. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think that's why you should always, no matter what, have that little photograph a book you know flip book you know like we used to put the photos in before and there's something small that's just in every bag or in the bag you carry all the time because as, as you do when you sit on the plane you do make you know just casual conversation with people unless they particularly don't and they get the newspaper out and then you know you know they're sort of saying i'm not all that interested but if people do start talking, you know, even without you sort of necessarily jumping on them straight away, you've got a whole plane trip. So you tend to talk about whatever comes up for them, what they do, la, la, la. And then usually they'll say to you after a while, oh, do you have any of these? Do you have calcium? Do you have this? Do you have that? You know, and um, so they start asking you the questions. So as soon as they, they do start talking about anything that's, that's um, in favour of what you're doing, you bring your little book out and say, well, this is like one of my customers. This is what happened last week. I love my job. You know, have a look at this. Have a look at this. Have a look at this. You know, and put it in their hands and they usually start flipping through themselves. Mm -hmm. So I think that that's one of the easiest ways because that's really how we did the business in the old mm -hmm. days. We didn't have the, the sophisticated ways of doing it now. You know, so most of it was using a flip book, you know, so that people would stop and they'd look and they'd go through and they'd always fix, you know, on something that appealed to them, you know. Yeah. 
you know, if it was a middle-aged person, they'd be looking at those because they relate to people around them. If it's a young person, they want to look at those things, you know, an older person. So it's good to have a variety of stories. And once they've got that little flip book in their hand, you know, let them just, you know, have a chance to flip through it themselves and take that time. Yeah, well, they always say that picture tells a thousand words and... Uh, just, and I know you're so strong on that because even when you came up to the kickoff, you, you brought journals. <laughs> yeah, you're so strong on on stories and before and afters and really that's um, it's the most simplest way, isn't it? Because you can always find a story that's going to relate to somebody and if it's a, a, a you know, professional story collector really and that's why we should, each training we go to, um, the more stories we can find, the better. Yeah, I find if, if I'm in awe of seeing the story still, like when I'm looking at the Facebook in the night, people put different stories up and then I'm often taking a photo of a weight loss that somebody's put on there to have at least on my camera, you know, and um, so I hope that's okay. I have to ask for permission sometime maybe. But I figure if they've already put it on our Facebook, you know, that, you know, and they're usually, you know, um, you know, okay often as distributors putting their before and afters on so you know it just it, I get thrilled you know so if I get thrilled and excited then we've got to presume that somebody that's you know sitting around us is going to be thrilled and excited too yep. and I love looking at the really old journal back from 83 and 84 <laughs> you know it's just unbelievable in the Americans there were so many like you know 200 pound weight losses and I remember at a meeting once where they had probably a hundred people come across that had, had a hundred pound weight losses you know so it was just phenomenal to see that so I as I said I get excited to see the pictures so why wouldn't anybody else mm, and I couldn't have done the business without my flip book I, I just couldn't because <laughs> I didn't know how to talk. So I just used my flip book so often. I had all different shapes and sizes. And maybe that's the best thing because we were shy all those years ago. You know, we, you know, weren't, you know, individual people. You know, we still, you know, starting the business, not sure what to say back then. And uh, so the, the magazines or the journals we had with all the before and afters, that was our breaking the ice. You know, be able to just put it in someone's face and then they're looking at it. And so, you know, after a while, they're, they're talking to you. They're saying, wow, that looks good. How old would she be? How many inches would she have lost? So they start asking you so they're engaged already. Uh, that, that's definitely a good point. So make sure you start doing a flip book. Uh, and also having pictures on your phone, anything that you can do that just to, to show results. So Jess, did you have any questions for us about what we've covered so far that you might need help with? Um, yeah, I did. Um, sorry about the video, my son's asleep, so I've got the light off. <laughs> um, but I just had a question in regards to like, you know, when you're at the supermarket, I've had a lot of people lately coming up to me and saying, oh, wow, you look really good. So because I live in a small town, I don't really need photos to carry around because everyone knows what I looked like a month ago. <laughs> um, but because it's sort of a really quick, you know, hey, how are you going? Oh, you look really good. What would you kind of, in a couple of sentences, say to people? I, I do find a lot of people, um, when you mention Herbalife, they kind of go, oh, yeah, the shakes, and that's kind of their attitude I guess um, what would you sort of say to kind of get them excited about it and make them want to talk to me I guess obviously not there in the supermarket around everyone but you know contact me later kind well, of I know I was what I'd say as soon as they'd say something like oh the shake or oh, herbal life then I would say yeah you know about herbal life you know that we're in we're in 95 countries now and I, I guess you don't know that we, we actually, you know, uh, support three Olympic teams. Three Olympic teams use our products, you know, so our products have to be really tried, tested and true, you know, for Olympians to use the products because they can't take anything that may get them into trouble. So three Olympic teams use our products and uh, our, our shake has been judged as the number one nutritional shake in the world. And we have you know, top people like Cristiano Ronaldo, Australian, 
gold medal Olympic athletes, etc. And you can collect those stories from, you know, down the track. We can send those things to you. And just say, but when they're saying, oh, herbal wipe and a shake, I guess they want you to come in with a magic wand and say, I just had a magic wand and they tapped me on the head and I lost the weight, you know. Yeah. So it's, it's only a, a way of people responding. They're not necessarily really being negative. It's you, you need to come back with, yeah, do you know about herbal life? We're, you know, we're in 95 countries, you know, and we're doing, we do $7 billion worth of business a year. If you think that's not relevant, go straight to the fact that, you know, and, you know, we have three Olympic teams use our products to train with, and that is awesome. I don't know of anybody else you know, who's got Olympic teams and Olympic, you know, athletes who use the products. And in fact, Cristiano yep. Ronaldo, the greatest footballer in the world, has been using Herbalife for years and years. Yeah. And can and I, I was just think say another thing like too? A... It's like when you, I, I, you go to the hairdresser, I always think of Jan because Jan's always really precise about her hair. If you go to the hairdressers and you say, I want my hair coloured in this way or that way, and then they're a bit half-hearted and you can see the look on their face, then you're not going to go there, you know, because you feel they're not going to do the job you want. But if that hairdresser says, oh, great, know exactly what you want, come around 12 o'clock tomorrow. So you need to say the same, you know, like, you know, Herbalife, 95 countries, you know, we sponsored three Olympic teams. You know, look, you're just going to love it. Okay, what about, what are you doing tomorrow? Come around and see me tomorrow. I'll come to you. What time? In morning, afternoon. You know, morning, afternoon gives them a choice. You know, they'll say morning yeah. or afternoon. You know, or you say, and they say, oh, I'm busy. Well, maybe evening's better for you, or the weekend. You know, so you then have to be without being pushy, but being assertive to make them make a decision. Because it's easy for people to walk away from something. Um, as I said, there's something in their mind that's looking for some magic answer. But to say, it's so easy. You know, look what I've done in a few weeks. Just so easy. You have to keep establishing that. It's X amount of weeks and this is what I've done. Or pick part of it. You know, in one month when I first started, I lost so much. So don't drag it out over everything pick the first month and say, and in the first month or the first few weeks, I lost this or this. So that, that gets up to their excitement. Then just say, look, you know, what, what are you doing tomorrow? You know, let's get together and I'll show you, get you to taste the shake and you'll see what it's about. Yeah. And I think people, um, when they think about being healthy, they think about food. And when you're not, you know, a shake isn't actually physical food but I think maybe trying to remind them that like me um yes I would love to cook every meal if I could but I don't have the time mm. so you know for people that don't have the time the shakes are great mm. and I think a lot of people here lack mm. lack time time and um and what people yeah. don't really realise, Jess, is that Herbalife is a complete balanced nutritional program. And depending on the situation that the person's asked you, and if it's uh, you're in a supermarket, it's got to be really quick, just share your story. Yeah. Um, you know, you see how I look. I've lost X amount and so many dress sizes, and I feel absolutely fantastic. You don't have to say it's Herbalife. It's a nutritional program. Okay, and then yep. make arrangements like Jennifer said. Um, try and get pers as somebody to come around and, and have a chat with you, and then you can make the yep. shake, and you know make a really nice shake with lots of ice and make it nice and fluffy and everything, because the shakes yep. are so nutritional, better than any food that we eat, but we still like our food as well. <laughs> yes. Yep. And and if you know Thank the you. person well enough, you can always make the little jokes that you know with them, you know, somebody you know fairly well, you can say, hey, look, you can't deny the results, you know. I just feel so good, yeah. you know. Yeah. And in the first few weeks, I lost da-da-da-da-da. It's been really easy, you know. Come tomorrow and I'll yeah. tell you all about it. Just, you know, yeah, positive but casual, relaxed. Yeah. Yeah. And living in a small town, I think I do have a bit of an advantage because... Yeah. Yeah. I do know a lot of people and they can see it right in front of them. So right. yeah. Yeah. you're walking yeah. example of it and they can't deny that. And that's why you don't have to sort of go into shakes or it's herbal life or anything like that. Your own result is, is a perfect solution and then get together yeah. with them and, and sample the shake and the beverage. Mm. 
Yeah, I think I've, yep. had, that, I've had that too before, Jess, with someone. Uh, yeah, thank you, Jennifer and Jan. Amazing tips and advice. Um, where someone goes, oh, you know, I like to eat. And I go, me too. <laughs> I always go, I love to eat. I just love food. And I said, I feel like I, I, I'm not deprived. I can eat whatever I like. I can put it on cereal. I can do the smoothie bowl. Um, you know, I can make chia seed pudding. I make healthy chocolate. And I can do smoothies. So I can eat it and drink it. I just love it. <laughs> and, yep. and that's a really nice way to do it too, to show, wow, it's so versatile. You can have it in all these things. And it's not just drinking it's also eating it so if you like to chew no problem so like mark hughes always said no problem so all you know excellent things that you can add in and like you said people are going to keep seeing your results and they're not going to be able to argue with that and they're just going to flock to you basically the other thing jess is that down the track as you get more confidence one of the most important things you'll find is when everybody knows that you're the herbal life lady you know and when they see your results you know, and you proudly either wear a T-shirt with Herbal Life or something on, because in small country areas, when you're known as the Herbal Life person, it's the same as you know the electrician person, and you know the plumbing person, and you know the beauty therapist lady. So everyone says, "Oh, go to Mary; she does great beauty therapy." They'll be saying, "You know, go to Jess. Jess has got this weight loss stuff, and look at the results." So even when people don't do it themselves they will tell people to come to you because you're going to be the herbal life lady in your district. Mm. Yeah. So, so this leads on to just the, obviously, you know, the people you know, but just say you've got a brand on or a bottle, you've got your lose weight now, ask me how button or, or I've lost over button. Uh, I just would love again, um, Jan and Jennifer do a little bit of role play with the, just with the button hip, just to, to sh show those four important questions, how you would bring that in because you're probably going to have um, people you don't know too, just they might be visiting or there might be just someone you don't know in your town and they ask you just on, this is what you could say. And then to, obviously um, Jan's really good and, and Jennifer getting those phone numbers, um, which I'm going to get better at too. Um, so did you just want to do a, just a quick role play? Oh, oh goodness. <laughs> right, I'll, ask, I'll ask you, Jan. I'll ask you. <laughs> yeah, <cool>. no. <laughs> what, what is that button you've got on there? Um... It's helping people lose weight. Are you seriously interested in losing some weight? Yeah, sure, sure. Okay. Look, my name's Jan. What's yours? I'm Jennifer. Okay, Jennifer. Um, so you are sort of really looking for losing some weight, are you? Yeah, well, I'd like to lose a bit around the sort of back side, around the legs. As I said, I'm not too tall. So, you know, I hate it. I can't put a dress on when I've got bigger hips. So you've got a bit of an idea as to how much weight you might like to lose? Um, I don't think I've got lots to lose, a few kilos, but I think it's more getting, you know, a better shape, you know. Better shape, okay. Um, have you tried anything in the past to sort of reduce? Uh, things like, you know, less bread, less sugar, um, right. you know, go to the gym, that kind of stuff, yeah. Right. And how did that work for you? How did you find it? Oh, well, you kind of get out the habit and, um, you know, you, um, you know, you kind of like your, your food the way you like it and, um, you know, you get the gym package and somehow it's too busy to get there. So, um, yeah. 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 Um, You're used to know the feeling too. So obviously it didn't work terribly well for you. Well, not really. I just found it was not difficult to think about getting to the gym right. and um, running around, you know, to seem to be, you know, extra problem to think about how I was going to eat, what I was going to cut out. Okay. Well, if I could show you a way where you can sort of um, reduce those centimetres around where you want to lose and still eat the foods that you enjoy, but you'll feel absolutely fantastic with good vitality and energy and you don't have to go to the gym and you don't have to totally cut out your bread, but we do need to cut back. And you'll absolutely feel fantastic. So would you like to get together and I, I can sort of go through some more information with you? Oh, that's fine. So I can still have some bread and I can still have like... You can still have a slice of... You can still have a slice of toast for your breakfast. But we will help you learn how to cut back. But once you get the nutrition going through your system, you find that a lot of cravings and a lot of things you really used to want to eat, you find that you don't want them anymore because of the nutrition and you're going to feel absolutely fantastic. So uh, would you like to get started? Okay, so tell me, what is it exactly? It's a complete balanced nutritional program. Right, okay. 
-hmm. Okay. Um, now, if you'd like to come around for a free consultation and we can go through a wellness evaluation with you and you can taste our product and we can do some weights and measurements and we can get you started. So would you like to get started uh, when you come around? Okay. All right. Come and have a look. Come around, um, say, 10 o'clock tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. All Fantastic. Right. And here's my address uh, and I'll get your phone number as well just to make sure and I can confirm everything with you. Okay. All right. Great. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Depending on circumstances, obviously, you would ask uh, when Jennifer's there how she would like to pay, um, the direct deposit or credit card or whatever. That's something you've got to have in your mind before you sort of start doing business, how people are going to pay you. Yep. Uh, that's a good way to get them to make a decision or what flavour would you like or yep. something like that. Yep. So. That's cool. So they're the questions, Jess. So thank you, Dan and Jennifer, for doing that role play. <laughs> and look, not everyone's going to say yes. Not everyone's, yeah. And no. the same way they say no, Jess, don't worry if someone says no, because it's not no forever. It's just not now. Okay. Yeah. And they're not saying no to you. They're, it's more about whatever's going on with them at the time. Okay. So don't take it personally and just know that you need to go on to the next person and help the ones that need to be helped. And then those people may come because they're watching anyway. Okay. They're watching on Facebook yeah. what's going on. So you don't worry about it. No doesn't mean no forever. Yeah. I know in myself, you know, I've I've always wanted to lose weight, but not necessarily tried my hardest. And then it just clicks. It clicks one day and you start and and it continues. So yeah. Yeah. this is, is a mindset. You've got to be a hundred percent ready for it to, yeah. to work. Even with herbal life, you've you've got to be really ready. But it is important for you, even though as people know your weight loss you know, to have one of those little flip books and gather up some stories from, you know, from um, Lydia and, and et cetera, um, you know, or anything that we can send out to you. So you've got that little flip book. So when people say, oh, well, wow, you're looking good, and uh, you can go on from there, a little talk, and then just say, well, you know, this is the kind of results people are getting. That's why I started using it, and I'm just absolutely excited about it. So it's how you what you say and how you present it from there. Yeah. Sometimes too, like with the T-shirt, it's just starting to hear the words. The more you get on the calls or you, sometimes you get, you know, even onto YouTube and see trainings and things like that. Um, you might have a, a Herbalife T-shirt, like a 24 product, and somebody says, what's that 24 for? And we say, well, let's do our products. You know, we have words to do with being 24-hour athletes. And we have people like Cristiano Ronaldo who use the products. Everybody knows Cristiano Ronaldo. And if they don't, you can tell him he's the number one athlete in the world, probably, or footballer. And um, and we have three Olympic teams use the product. So the top, you know, you know, Olympians and, and athletes around the world and triathletes are using Herbalife 24. We also have a, a program for the everyday people for a nutritional program that people are having stunning results with. So you get to the more you talk about it, the more you hear, the more the words stay in your head. That's why and you're a long way away. But if you can ever get to the to you know the closest STS, wherever that might be, you know, you know, training at some time, you know, you'll start to to hear, you know, um, you know how they say things, and and, the, and it becomes second nature to you. Oh, I must say, Jennifer, you know, Jess has got a pretty awesome training tonight with all this, this amazing yes, combined experience, which is pretty cool. Um, so but I just wanted to finish up. We've got five more minutes before we finish. And I just wanted to um, cover this because I think it's quite relevant at the moment. Jennifer, I know you've talked about um, Avon and how, um, yeah, that uh, the company's not going to be in Australia anymore. And I really think it's an opportunity uh, for now and it's something that I'm going to be doing with my group this week. And I just wanted to get some tips because I've had some people ask me, what, would I, what should I say? How do I approach people about, um, you know, people that Avon because they're loyal, you know, they've been loyal, they love what, you know, their company. How do you get them to come and take a look at Herbalife? So I just love some tips, Jennifer, because I think everyone can do this. Go and find out who the Avon reps are in your area. Ask who do you know that does Avon and then respectfully, um, go and approach them. So Jennifer, I'd just love some tips on it. Right, okay. So Avon closed down in Australia and New Zealand and clearly they weren't relevant in the market anymore. There's a lot of competition in skincare. Um, maybe the company just didn't, you know, sort of gauge, you know, um, you know, how to keep the company relative, relative. who knows. But 
you know, a lot of you know, thousands of distributors are quite devastated, had, you know, in the business for a long time, they got mortgages, that was their income, that's what they knew. And uh, so we heard from a lot of people that, you know, um, the distributors were quite devastated. So um, we did tell all that distributors, you know, have a look in your area, ask your friends, who do you know that's been an Avon distributor? Well, if you can find them in the book or whatever. And, you know, you when you approach them and say, look, you know, we're here that Avon closed down. We're always respectful about other people's businesses. And people have loved Avon. It's been this classic company for years, you know, Avon ringing the bells, you know, you know, doorbell selling you, you know, skincare, et cetera. Um, so everybody in the past, and especially, you know, older people than you probably all bought some Avon at some time. Mm -hmm. So we're, we teach people to be respectful. And, you know, if you get, get a hold of an Avon person, say, look, you know, we heard Avon closed down and we heard how devastating it is because we know that you love Avon. We believe that, you know, it's been a, such a good company to work for. But, you know, I'm in Herbalife and, you know, we have a, a company like yours where, distributors love being in the business you know we're in in 95 countries we've been in business since 1980 and um you know it's a huge business around the world but we're looking for people like you that have got a heart for people you know love your customers because we love our customers and we believe they'd be a good fit if you come and have a look at what we're doing in herbalife yeah you know, and they say well is it skincare and you say we do have some skincare but we also have nutrition that's to do with building the body and making it healthy to make the skin look better. So, you know, why don't we get together and I'll show you something about our business. Once again, morning or afternoon, Saturday or Sunday, you know, night or morning and see, get them to make a choice. But because they have been very loyal to their, to their business, um, then it's a good idea to approach them, you know, in the same way, you know, mm -hmm. that, you know, we're looking for people like you. And in fact, that's totally mm -hmm. true. We are looking for people like that, you know, who have been really good with their customers, put out their, their books, you know, every week, you know, whenever, you know, selling product, you know, building a distributorship of their own. So they're the ideal people we do want in our business. So, you know, whatever people are doing, try to empathize, empathize, <laughs> I can't get the word, <laughs> with them, um, have empathy anyway, and, um, you know, as to where they're coming from, as to how it might fit in, like someone at work in a shop, you know, you're used to giving good customer service, and that's what we like in our business, but in our case, you can work from home, you can work in the night a few hours if you want to, you can work just a couple of hours during the week, whatever day you've got free, but you had great customer service attitude, and you just gained a love herb life, because you can put that into a business that you can work from home, you know, and work it around the hours that you want to. Yeah, thank you, Jennifer, because I really feel um, that those set of words that Jennifer's used, you can compress them a little bit, just pick out some. And I, and I wanted this because I think anyone that can listen to the recording, um, this is a great opportunity and it's time sensitive because you want to do something about it now. Uh, obviously, I've just been moving house. So, you know, now that we've settled, we can, you know, I can do work on this project that I've been having on my list for a while. So, and yeah, you could ask, who do you know that's an Avon rep? You know, just start asking people. You could even do a post about it. But again, be respectful and, um, and as um, Jim said, use empathy. So, you know, and look at the strong points and how they would be a, a good fit for what we're looking, you know, we're looking for people like them. So I would just start doing it now because it, it's, it is time sensitive. And can I just quickly say, uh, I had I went to a, a, a family party 20 years ago and um, when uh, people you haven't seen forever, you know, the relatives that grow up and get married and go somewhere else and you never see them. So I hadn't seen these people for many years. So when I said I was in Herbalife, my cousin said <laughs> to her sister, she says, she says to me, um, oh, I use that stuff and I end up in hospital. It was really awful, wasn't it, Jan? You know, it was her sister. And uh, Jan says, you know, it was a real Jan, her name, she's not this Jan. And then she says, yeah, and I was sick too. It made me really sick. And I remember just laughing at them because, you know, it just seems so ridiculous, you know, for them to say it. So I didn't, I, I was so confident about business. It wasn't going to phase me at all. I just laughed at them when they said it. And I said, okay, that's fine. And do you know what? It's really interesting because I didn't get, take too much offence. They got to think about it themselves. 
you know, and, and realise it was very silly what they were saying. Well, that cousin of mine, Carol, who was about size 26, you know, a really huge lady, and all she ever talked about was, you know, her her diabetes and her this and her that and, you know, and, you know her you know, RSI and you name it. And um, she's been on the products for years now. She has come down to, I would say, probably about size 16 now, you know, from where she was. And, um, you know, she tells me all the time, I don't have to go back to the doctors to see, you know, about my diabetes anymore. You know, she's always talking about how well she was. She went to England to see her grandson and I walked everywhere, etc. cetera. And, um, but it is interesting how things can turn around. And it was her who came back to me was a couple of years later, you know, not straight away. But by then they might have heard from somebody else that's been on Herbalife or they grow up a little bit and they start thinking, you know, that's a bit foolish what I said. But if someone says something, you know, a bit crazy to you, just just be amused by it and just say, yeah, I've heard that one too or something like that. It's only, you know, don't let things get you down because you know, you know, you, as we, we say, 90% opinion, 10% fact, 90% opinion is that somebody likes Parramatta footballers and somebody likes, you know, I say George footballers, you know, um, you know, it's all opinion. They'll say, oh, that coach is lousy, da, da, da. But the more you give them information as to why the coach cal- coaches, lousy, they start thinking, oh, right, I didn't know that about him. The same with our products. When you tell people the real facts about them and the results that people are having, then they go away thinking, oh, maybe, maybe I should have a look at this stuff. It's, yeah, so never, never feel threatened that you don't continue with a little bit of information and just make fun with it, you know, just, you know, and if somebody says, I said, I'm repeating myself, something ridiculous, best thing to do is just laugh about it and say, I've heard that one or, or I haven't heard that one. That's a weird one, you know, and, um, you know, and always go back to we've been in business you know, since 1980, you know, 38 years in the business since we started in America, 35 years in Australia. You know, we go through every government regulatory body in every country for our products and our business plan. We're highly, highly scrutinised and we have Nobel Prize winning doctor. So sometimes you remember to slip those little things in and the person will go away and think about what you said. Well, thank you. I think um, this has been a really valuable call and I'm glad they recorded it. <laughs> um, I think all the tips you've given and um, I just think if there's a project that you're going to do this month of May, please do the Avon one and go start reaching out to people. They're, they're looking for something. They're going to go somewhere. So I let them come to us because we're going to look after them. Um, so I want, yeah, this is going to be recorded and sent out. So really great information and tips on how to package your stories. Um, different role plays and techniques to build rapport, to collect those phone numbers and and really start building your business in the most simplest way and building your confidence as well. So thank you, Jan and Mervyn and Jess and Jennifer for helping on tonight's call. I think it's been pretty fantastic. So I'm just going to finish the recording so it can start converting. So hang on two seconds. Let me do that if I can get it to come down. Hang on two seconds. So thank you.